In today's Warzone video, I've got you guys with the top five best SMGs that you should be using right now. Before we jump into that, I quickly want to shout out today's Noti Gang. If you guys are enjoying the videos, make sure you leave a like as well as hit the subscribe button and the Noti Bell if you're new. Let's go ahead and jump into the five SMG loadouts that you should be using. So coming in at the number one spot, I got you guys with the Hipfire PPSH from Vanguard. Now this gun did receive a buff in the season five update, and it is easily the best SMG in Warzone right now. I'm sure you guys have been seeing it every Everywhere. So first off for the muzzle you want the recoil booster for the extra fire rate for the barrel Make sure you guys throw on the 230 mm for the hip fire accuracy and hip fire recoil recovery You do not need an optic on this build since it's a hip fire build You're not going to be using any sight for the stock You want the remove stock for the hip fire accuracy movement speed and sprint to fire speed for the under barrel Make sure you throw on the pistol grip for the hip fire accuracy aim walking movement speed and sprint to fire speed for the magazine, you want the 8mm Nambu 71 for the recoil control and fire rate. Ammunition is going to be hollow point for the extra limb damage. Next up, rear grip. Make sure you guys throw on fabric for the sprint to fire, ADS speed, and hip fire accuracy. Perk 1 is going to be fleet for the weapon swap quickness and movement speed. And then perk two is going to be quick for the extra sprint speed. That's going to be the best hipfire PPSH build. And let's go ahead and jump into the second loadout that you guys need. So coming in at the number two spot is going to be the Marco 5 from Vanguard as well. Now, before we jump into the Marco build, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to have some extra loadouts from Modern Warfare and Cold War at the end of today's video, because I know most of you guys might not have the Vanguard SMGs leveled up. So as they are the top five meta SMGs, I still want to give you guys some extra loadouts that you can use after the top five so let's go ahead and get into my marco build muzzle as always is going to be the recoil booster for the extra fire rate for the barrel you want the emerito 342 for the bullet velocity flinch resistance and reduced scope sway this is by far the best barrel for your marco for the optic make sure you guys throw on slate reflector stock is going to be the emerito fr for the ads speed movement speed and recoil recovery for the under barrel, make sure you guys throw on the Mark VI Skeletal for the ADS speed and movement speed. By far the best under barrel. For the magazine, make sure you guys throw on the 8mm Nambu 64. For the ammunition, we're going to be using Frangible for the wounding effect. This is a nice attachment to have on the Marco. I highly recommend Frangible. For the rear grip, you're going to put taped for the movement speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. For the perk, make sure you guys throw on momentum for the movement speed after kills. This is huge. This makes a big difference if you're in a gunfight on quads and you're fighting a lot of people. Momentum comes in clutch. For perk 2, make sure you guys throw on quick for the extra sprint speed. And this is going to be my recommended Marco build for you guys. And let's go ahead and jump into the third best SMG that you guys should be using. So coming in at the number three spot, I've got you guys with the Armaguera 43 from Vanguard. Now, first off for the muzzle, as always, make sure you throw on the recoil booster for the fire rate. For the barrel, you want the Emerito short barrel for the ADS speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire speed. Optic is going to be slate reflector, as always. For the stock, make sure you guys throw in the skeletal stock for the aim walking movement speed, ADS speed, and firing recoil. By far the best stock on the Armaguera. For the under barrel, throw in the SG-98 compact for the aim walking movement speed and reduce scope sway. For the magazine, we're going to be using the 8mm Curse 72 for the damage range and bullet velocity. For the ammunition, you're going to want to put on lengthen for even more bullet velocity. Rear grip is going to be grooved for the aim walking movement speed. Horizontal recoil control and aiming stability, by far the best rear grip. For perk one, you guys are going to want to put on vital for the increased torso damage. This is huge on the Armaguera. This makes this thing even more of a beam than it already is. And then perk two is going to be quick for that sprint speed. And this is going to be the Armaguera build coming in at the number three spot. And then let's go ahead and jump into the fourth best SMG that you guys should be using. For the number four SMG, I've got you guys the H4 Blixen from Vanguard. Now, I know this gun got nerfed a few times in the past, but it is easily still a top five SMG right now. So for the muzzle, as always, recoil booster for the fire rate. For the barrel, you want the Bergstrom 17F3 for the bullet velocity, flinch resistance, and recoil control. Optic, I use the NIDAR Model 47 on the Blixen. You guys could rock the slate if you want. But if you guys have never used the NIDAR, I suggest you try it out. You might like it more like I do. For the stock, we're going to be using remove stock for the movement speed, sprint to fire speed, and ADS speed. We're going to use Mark VI Skeletal Under Barrel for even more movement speed. This gun is insane when it comes to movement speed. For magazine, you're going to want the Gorenko 54 for the recoil control and increased torso damage. Ammunition is going to be lengthened for the extra bullet velocity. 
Rear grip, we're going to throw on Grooved for the horizontal recoil control, ADS firing speed, and movement speed. Then for perk 1, make sure you guys throw on Fleet for the weapon swap quickness and even more movement speed. And then lastly, perk 2 is going to be quick for the sprint speed. This gun has some of the best mobility out of every gun in Warzone right now. And even though it did get nerfed a few times in the past, it is still a beam, which is why it's going to come in at the number 4 spot. And then let's go ahead and jump into the fifth SMG that you guys need. Now coming in at number five, I got you guys with the Type 100 from Vanguard as well. Now this gun does have the fastest TTK out of all SMGs right now, but you guys are going to see in a second why I decided to place it at number five. So first off for the muzzle, of course, we want the recoil booster. For the barrel, we want the Raw Rubachi 134 Rapid for the fire rate and damage range. Optic, of course, we want the Slate Reflector, just by far the cleanest optic. Now for the stock, we want the grip folding for the aim walking movement speed and aim walking steadiness. For the underbarrel, we want the M19 strife angled for that extra horizontal recoil control. Magazine, now this is where the Type 100 gets placed at number 5. We're going to use the Russian Short 36 mags, which is a super short magazine, which is why I decided to place it at number 5. But overall, this gun does have the fastest TTK, which makes it great for solos and duos. But when you run trios and quads, you do end up having to reload quite a bit. So that is why I decided to place it at number five. So you're going to want the Russian short 36 rounds. For the ammunition, we're going to be using lengthen for the bullet velocity. Rear grip is going to be grooved for the aiming stability, ADS firing move speed, horizontal recoil control, and aim walking movement speed. For perk one, personally, I like to use fleet for the weapon swap quickness. But you can use sleight of hand if you want. Like I said, the magazine is short on this gun. So you are going to have to reload quite a bit. So if you find yourself having to reload too much, you can use sleight of hand, but I like to use fleet. And then perk two, I use quick for the sprint speed. And that is going to be the fifth meta SMG of today's video. But like I said, I got you guys two Cold War loadouts and two Modern Warfare loadouts, just in case you don't have the Vanguard SMGs ranked up. And let's go ahead and jump into those loadouts right now. So on screen right now, we have the first Cold War loadout for you guys that you could definitely still use to compete in the current meta. And that is going to be the MP5. I recommend you guys use the Agency Suppressor with the Task Force Barrel, along with the Raider Stock, Serpent Wrap for the Rear Grip, and the Stanak 53 Round Drum. The Cold War MP5 could definitely still hang in the current meta, but I would place it out of the top five. But if you guys don't have the Vanguard SMGs ranked up, this is definitely a viable option. And as for my second Cold War loadout, I would recommend to you guys, we're going to be using the OTS-9. Now this gun definitely still does hang in the current meta. You're going to want the Gru Suppressor for your muzzle, Tiger Team Spotlight for your laser, the KGB stock, Underbarrel is going to be Bruiser Grip with the VDV Fast Mag. Now let's go ahead and get into these two Modern Warfare loadouts that you guys could also be using. Now for the first Modern Warfare loadout, I would recommend you guys use if you don't have the Vanguard SMGs. It's going to be the MP5. Now this is the OG SMG from Warzone and it does still hang in the current meta, but I would not place it in the top five personally. So if you guys do want to rock this, you can use the Monolithic Suppressor on your muzzle with the FTAC Collapsible Stock Merc Foregrip. 45 round mag and sleight of hand and let's go ahead and get into the final loadout of today's video which is going to be another modern warfare loadout now for the final loadout of today's video i got you guys the modern warfare p90 now the p90 actually did get buffed in the most recent season 5 update which definitely brought it back in contending with the meta so for my build you want the monolithic suppressor on your muzzle the 10.6 pro barrel with the 5 milliwatt laser sight and then you want stippled under barrel and stippled rear grip and that is going to be the final loadout of today's video man if you guys did enjoy make sure you leave a like and as always if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button with the noti bell to be notified every time i upload and i will see you guys in the next video man peace